Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm so excited to tell you about my next project. I just got me a sailboat and um, I'm gonna be fixing it up. Right now I have the boat off the trailer and, and I'm gonna be working on the trailer first. I gotta get it cleaned up. Uh, boy, uh, glad, glad I did that because I pulled it apart and there were some problems with it and I'm gonna have to make sure that's all up and running correctly. Uh, been thinking about this for about a year now. My buddy Scott got me involved in this because he was always talking about his adventures out racing his uh, sunfish sailboat. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a fun little hobby. So uh, I started looking around. I was kind of waiting because I'm not quite ready to do it because I have a lot of other things on my plate. I finally decided I was going to pull the trigger when I came across this 1985 AMF sunfish and uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's never been repainted. I got to do some pressure tests, see if it's leaking. And then of course the, uh, the trailer itself. I wanted to start out on it so that I won't have any problems when I am ready to go to the lake. It's in solid shape, but it's just gotten rusty. I got to uh, replace the, the carpet on here so that it slides on it really well. I'm gonna place, replace rollers. It came with a, a nice lighting kit and I'll well, I've pulled all the parts off of it and I've started uh, grinding or sanding and scraping and wire brushing the whole thing down. I'm I've started the undercoat now, so I have this primer going on, Rust-Oleum, to help take care of uh, the rusty areas. You can see where I've kind of got started here, getting to all these hard to reach places. And we have a long ways to go, so. Well, I've started painting the uh, top coat. So this is a wonderful paint, safety red. I didn't have to mix or anything. So uh, I'm really excited about it. So just getting started on the easier to reach places first. And then, um, and then I'll come back and get the hard to reach ones. Reason for that is that I just painted the whole trailer with the undercoat, um, you know, just from front to back and when i had to reach my brush into all those little nooks and crannies i really just destroyed my brush so it wasn't even worth cleaning but anyway i've got a long ways to go as you see just got started but i'm liking that red Here's a look at the old tongue compared to the new one. The new one's a two inch, the old one's a one and seven eighths. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot nicer, newer. And take a look at this. This old one is all bent up. You can see it where it's been in an accident. It's not straight. So I'm sure glad I'm replacing it. Well, the weather and my schedule have uh, kept me from getting a bunch done, but I've finally gotten in the wiring and uh, the trailer tongue, so uh, let's take a look at it. Well, I have the tongue on here. I've attached it with bolts. I may paint it, but not sure. It looks pretty cool like it is. And here's the wiring coming in. I just did that. Haven't put on the jack yet. Uh, and then uh, you can see where the, the wire's coming out. I just went down one side of the trailer. And all the way over here to this light. I checked out the bearings and they seem to be pretty good, but it looked like the uh, previous owner or somebody down the line had tightened them down a little too much. So they weren't rolling very well. So I cleaned it all out, repacked it and got the wheels going again. So they look good. Well, I'm so glad I did this. I went out and tested it last night, drove it around the block and everything went great. You know, I could have come home with this trailer and not done anything, uh, except I, I needed to grease the hubs. But pulling it apart and updating a few things, and it, it allowed me to make some modifications and understand uh, what this simple little rig's all about, but it just helped me get ready for everything else. So um, the next thing I'll be doing is working on the boat. That'll be another video. 
So uh, thanks a lot for joining me here. Let me know down below if there was anything uh, you were interested in about this, and I'd love to hear your feedback. So until next time, talk to you later.